just looks crazy. If I didn't have a bunch of cavities, now I do. Mmm, mm-hmm, mm-mm. So good. This is like fuzz all over me now. Gotta get the sugar off. Sorry guys, what's up? <laughs> Easter to those who celebrate and to those who don't. I don't know what to tell you. I don't even know what the purpose of Easter is, but I pretend like I do every year. And actually, this is probably the first Easter that I actually even thought to think about what the point of Easter is. And I'm still very perplexed, but I think that I'm going to wait until I educate myself more on the topic to talk about it. But anyway, I wish everyone a very happy Easter. I am so, thank you, thank you. We're in the Easter apparel. We got the, we got the peeps lined up. We got the, um, the soldiers out in battle or whatever. I don't know. Um, <laughs> how is everyone's Easter? What's up? Any, any good baskets? What's going on? You know, do, do people like this holiday? What do we think about it? Um, anything crazy happen, any drama that I should know about, even though I probably shouldn't be intruding on your family's, you know, drama, but I, you know, I'm always down to hear about it. So if anyone has anything that happened that was crazy, let me know, let me know. Okay. Um, what happened to me? It was a pretty boring Easter for me. I mean, which is good, right? I don't know. I stayed at home this year, which, like, I never really do. So it was good in the sense that I didn't have to, like, leave. And I usually am never home. Like, I usually have to trudge over, like, drive an hour and so, say hi to everyone else, make them feel like they're good. Make them feel like they're good. You know what I mean? Like, you go over to someone's house for the holidays, and you're always there, and it's, like, always about them, and it's always like, oh, happy Easter, bro. And it's like, what about me? So I guess it, so, you know, I didn't feel that down this year. <laughs> oh, whoops, I almost turned the thing the other way. Um, My brother smashed my face in an ice cream tub. Oh, whoa, that's crazy. That is not cool. My Me and my friend are doing nails. That's fun. Always fun doing nails. I'm hiding from my parents because they found my report card. Oh, no. Oh, man. You guys, you guys got to... You guys are all very smart. I believe in you that you don't even have to hide your report card anymore because I think that you're that smart that you don't even have to hide it. You know what I mean? Um. What? I live in Whitney. I don't know what Whitney is. What's Whitney? Happy Easter, Sergio. Oh, the cat. The cat. Come here, Tibby. Woo! Not the cat coming at me again. Oh, no. Come here, Tibby. Tibby Weeby. Don't, if you... Don't, not the eyes, not the nose. Not the eyes, not the nose. Not the eyes, not the nose. Do anything else but the eyes and the nose. Okay, or just... Okay, thank God. He usually just... When he has the opportunity, but I guess not today. Okay, that's fine. That's great. That's amazing. Um, I'm glad we're making progress here. <laughs> anyway, so... It, out of town, five hours away. I, I don't know where Odessa is. Uh, no, you're definitely not. Okay, you're great. Also, if the 10 people, I think you guys are all subscribed to me, but if you're not, I mean, I always say it on and on and on, but please subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And if you are subscribed and you're like, shut up, Kayla, enough of, is enough is enough, 
you know what, tomorrow when you're in school or you're at work or wherever you are, if you could just tell, like, one or two of your friends, oh, there's this girl, she's like, it is a little bit crazy, she's a little crazy, it is a really, she is really weird, and, like, I kind of feel bad for her, so, like, if you could just look at her, you know, videos for maybe, like, ten seconds, that's fine, you know what I mean, just, you know, I would appreciate that, anyway, um, she looks like my old cat, Miss Kitty, that got ran over. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. That stinks. I'm really sorry about that. Oh. See, I, like, want my cat to experience life. And I'm, like, I want my cat to, like, be able to obviously not, like, go across the the Nile River and, like, come back and whatever and do all the crazy things. But, like, I'm, like, I feel bad. Like, you shouldn't just stay in my house all day, every day. Like, I want you to have a life. But then it's, like, yeah, I don't want them to... I don't want Tibby, Mr. Tibby to just be, like... You know? I, I... You know what I mean. I don't know. Happy Easter, Carly. Let's go, Annabelle. Um... Theo, I usually call you Theo, but Xenu was like, that's disrespectful. Maybe Annabelle wants to be called Annabelle, and Annabelle just doesn't want to tell you that she wants to be called Annabelle. So Xenu has your back, and I am now calling you both until I know which one you prefer. <laughs> anyway, um, happy Easter, everybody. I look crazy per usual, yeah, I'm like, I look crazy. I like I don't know why I have to preface anything. I feel like everyone knows at this point. Everyone's like, nope, this is a regular live stream. We're all good. It's all great. We're having fun. My best friend forever is putting me in pain. Why, Allison? No, I don't care. And Loki kind of like Theo. Okay, yeah. Theo is a good name, right? Like, I feel, I feel like I've always liked nicknames that aren't my name, you know? Like, I've always, like, I really have not liked the name Kayla. I mean, it's kind of hard to have a nickname for Kayla besides, like, K. And that's not really a nickname. That's more of, like, a letter. So it's kind of like, um, there's nowhere to go from here. So, but Theo is cool. The things he finds, I'm not okay right now. Dylan says, happy Easter to you as well. KK! Yeah, people... My, like, younger cousins used to call me KK or, like, Special K or, like... But they're not really... I don't know. That's why I used to go by K-Ray um, and incorporate some other names, I guess, in my, you know... Uh, it doesn't make sense to you guys. But, like, I used to go by Love K-Ray. That was my, like, YouTube identity before, I guess, like, a year and a half ago-ish. Like, since I was 14, 15 to, like, 20-something, I was Love K-Ray. That was my thing on YouTube. And then, like, a year and a half, two, or no, two years ago, maybe, I was like, okay, no. We're rebranding here, okay? No more Love K-Ray in this chat. And so then I just totally switched. But Kale? Kale? I go by Kale, the vet, the, not the let, not the type of lettuce. Ayla, don't love that. Law, don't love that I've, <laughs> lol, I can't tell if that's the nickname or if you're laughing at the, uh, at the, um, options of the nicknames, because they're not great. Special K, I know, it really is too much. Kale, Kale, okay, my test is tomorrow and I'm gonna fail. Wait, okay, I was trying to figure it out because you didn't, you didn't email it, you posted it on your tab or whatever and I just saw it today. Um, and, oh, I do have my laptop. Okay, give me a second. Urgh. Okay. Because I saw what you said, and it was, like, five parentheses, three N minus something, something, something. One second, I'm getting my laptop. I was laughing because I know they're awful options. <laughs> they really are. Okay. Ugh, okay. Hey, I'm here, Mackenzie. Let's go. Time to pull up some Khan Academy. That's funny. I know. I, like, forgot, like, everything that I used to do when I was younger. But I'm going to try the best that I can. I actually think that I got it right, surprisingly. I really didn't think that I 
I really didn't think that I knew what was going on. And I think you posted it on your, uh, like, homepage or something. Here, one second. How do I find it? How do I find? How do we find the answers to the test? There's always your middle name. If you have one, I do. But then if I give it away, then the crazy people that already are looking at my stuff will look even crazier and harder i'm not talking about okay i need to stop the song the song is not great i'm trying to find <sighs> why can't i find the one here let me go to the live stream then i'm like why can't i find your name why can't i find your the page <gasps> okay found you channel activity nope nope I want to go to your channel. Oh. Why won't let me do anything? Go to channel. Okay. Community. Okay. I wish that I could post. Mm. Hmm. I don't know how to. Hmm. It would be easier if I had my laptop set up to be on webcam and stuff, but Mm hmm. Okay, what I have here is that you posted five parentheses three n minus three. Is that? Mm, I don't want to like teach you the wrong thing though, because I thought that you distribute the five to the three n. Here, I think like people would probably be able to fact check me, because I feel like people are smart on this, and I don't want to tell you. The answers if they're not right um hmm how can i plug this in to make it so that people can see what i'm doing i think that i have to like literally plug everything in okay one second okay one second ow jeez happy happy easter everybody <laughs> like did anyone get anything good in their easter baskets at least anyone ew <gasps> what is happening am i getting an allergic reaction <gasps> what is happening? What is that? What is going on? Okay, wait, but I did make lamb tonight. I made lamb. I made lamb myself. And mashed potatoes and carrots, but no one really cares about those. We're just talking about the lamb. But um not sure what's going on here. Just gonna ignore that. I probably am having an allergic reaction. No, my mom. <laughs> that was the table we're good it just you know the studio is just a little crazy you burned it right um no i didn't burn wait but what is going i don't like the fact that i don't really i don't like break out anymore like i feel like i'm past the age of like breaking out and like i feel like this might either be a bug bite or an allergic reaction i don't know because i usually like you can't you can see the rest of my face right like not amazing, but, like, not, like, three sweltering lumps, like, all in the corner that I never really have any, um, anyway, who cares? Doesn't matter. This is an allergic reaction. <laughs> it's fine. We're good. I mean, I'm never really allergic to anything. It's, I, I believe that, okay, now I'm gonna sound crazy, but I, I don't really believe in allergies. I mean, I do, obviously, I wouldn't be, like, you're not allergic to anything if you have a severe allergy. I would never do that to you. But, like, I am someone that, like, if my, if someone, if, like, a doctor told my parents, like, oh, she's intolerant to, like, gluten or, like, meat of some sort, they would, like, do, like, the double. They would be like, here you go. Like, the only thing you're eating is the thing that they said to not eat. Like... <laughs> But also at the same time, that's crazy. I've never had that. It's fine. It'll be gone in the morning. That See, that's how confident I am. You know what I mean? You don't believe in allergies. I do believe in allergies, but like, I don't believe in them in a sense that I, th I think I know my body enough that I know that I don't really have um, sensitivity to like food, I guess. Um... I broke a toe once. My mom literally told me to stop whining and walk it off. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I literally was never 
taken to the dog. Like, exactly. Like, if something bad happened, they were just like, ice it. Ice it? No, ice it. And so I, I've always said, like, I've never broken a bone in my life. And I'm like, but have I? But have I broken a bone? I just didn't go to the doctor <laughs> to check if I did. <laughs> Meanwhile, my arm's, like, growing, like, <sighs> like, curved this way and that way. And I'm like, no, no, it's great. We're good. We're good. Have our tutoring time. I oh, know. I forgot about that. Okay, wait. This is what I was trying to do. I was trying to get things all situated. What? Why do people keep saying that? Is this, like, a joke? Here, let me see who this is, because I have no idea. No. Wait, am I... Why am I her? Oh, man. I mean, good for her, athlete, whatever, but, like, no. Don't know. No. No, I don't know about that. Oh, man. Not the... Not the photo of the basketball, like, spinning. I don't... Okay. I'm sure she's a lovely woman. She does far more than I could ever imagine. But, like, I just... Please, no. Please, no! <laughs> math. Um, what topics does your test cover tomorrow? I know it's math, but what parts of math? Math. Um, okay. Theo sent... Here, I'm trying to figure out how do I can... Hmm, I think I have to hook up my laptop. Hmm. Because this is what I have, okay? This is what... Ah, oh, so hard. Five... Oh, see, it's hard for people to read. It's five, parentheses, three, and minus three. I believe you distribute the five times three N which you would do 15N, and then you would do minus 15. And then you would add the 15 to the other side of the equal sign, and then it would be 15 equals 15N, and then divided by 15, and then it would be N equals 1. That's what I'm guessing. I'm not sure if that's right. Um, this is why I'm trying to get, like, everything situated so we can figure it out, but she has the problems. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it. Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see. How do I, uh, I have to plug everything back in. Okay, one second. <laughs> I'm like, I have to plug everything in now. All right, let's do this. Okay. Sorry, everybody. The noises in the background aren't great. If you can't imagine, can't imagine, you know, I'm not the most organized person in the world. You know, things are not looking great over here. In Kayla Cauldron Studio Land, wherever we are. Wherever we are. Is there a value for N or a sum that it's all supposed to equal and you need to find for N? There's nothing that's... There's no, like, equals blank. It's just five parentheses, three N minus three. So I'm assuming that it's you're supposed to do five times three N, and then you're supposed to do five times negative three. So it's... 15 and minus 15, and then I, I believe you would add the negative 15 to the opposite. But there's, yeah, there's nothing, like, there's nothing else besides that. I don't know. I haven't done this in, like, 8, 10 probably years. No, more than 10 years, actually. Oh, man. This is, this stinks. <laughs> Why am I old? All right, one second. So it's more show your work how you'd solve this. Yeah, it's not, like, I don't think it's... So I think you're right because it's math six plus. Write it down on some paper or something. Okay. I was going to try to put my laptop in.
I, I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say, okay? I'm trying to get the stuff out, and all I'm doing is talking to myself about a math problem that, you know what? Maybe that was the universe saying, you shouldn't be doing math. You don't know anything about math. I don't know. I feel like, um, hmm. Do I know anything about math? One second. I'm trying to figure out if I'm actually doing this right or not. Because I can't even, like, PEMDAS, parentheses, should go first. So you do 3 minus 3, then multiply the remain by 5. I know, but I don't think so. 3. I don't know. But for some reason why I don't think that that's what it is. I have a feeling math so bad right now. I don't... I thought PEMDAS was what the whole point was, but now looking at it, I don't know why. I just don't think that that's what you're... One second. I'm trying to find... Okay. So it's this, okay? Five. Three. And minus three. So I don't think you can technically do three and minus three, because that you can't really find that out. I don't think you can technically, even if it is PEMDAS, even if you're doing parentheses, I don't think you can technically do anything with that. I think you're supposed to go, like, you're supposed to go this, and then you're supposed to go like that. So I think you're supposed to go 5 times 3n is 15n, and then 5 times th negative 3, or 3, whatever, is negative 15 equals 0 or whatever. And then that's why I thought you are supposed to add 15 to both sides equals 15n divided by 15, n equals 1. That's my, <laughs> but again, I have no clue. Because I thought PEMDAS was right too, but then I just remember like distributing like the numbers for the, through the parentheses. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> I thought it was, I think this is the new math they teach these days. I just remember like distributing anything. Okay, so there's some other ones that, Annabelle, you didn't email them to me, but I saw them, I think you posted them on your page and I was like, what is this on my homepage? And I was like, oh, this is Theo. Okay, here's another one that you did, which they're not horribly difficult. If I think once you get it down, I think you'll be fine. So, this one is supposed to be 7, see, it's like, the, this is why I wanted to do whatever. Okay, so it's 7 parentheses 2H plus 7. So, I think, even though PEMDAS is like a math rule or whatever, I don't think for some reason that happens when there's, when you're solving for X. In this case, in this case, it's H. I think you're just supposed to go boom, boom. So you're supposed to go 14H plus, oh, 7 times 7 is 49. Interesting. Minus 49. Minus 49 divided by 14. Can you divide 49 by 14 or did I just, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, shoot. Am I just doing this all wrong? 3.5? Maybe. That could work. That could work. Okay, well, let's see. When you do 2 times 3.5... Wait. But you're, you're not really solving for anything. So I'm confused. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> is this wrong? Yeah, okay. Iron Wolf. Okay, that's what I said, too. It's a distributive property rule in algebra. It works for those types of equations. More so, it's like five. Interesting. I think I'm learning uh, mosquitoes. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so I think that I'm kind of on the right path. I don't know if that's how you do it. Okay, what did I say? It's seven parentheses, two H plus seven. So you're supposed to distribute, distributive property. That's probably what it is. Seven times two H, which is 14 H, I'm assuming. And then 7 times 7 plus 49 equals 0. You subtract the 49. 
So we have negative 49 equals 14h divided by 14. Negative 49 divided by 14 is, uh-oh, it's negative 3 and a half? Is that right? Is h negative 3.5? Or am I just insane? Wolf, wolf, ram, alpha? Hmm. Wolf, ram, alpha, okay. And then they just tell you, oh, cool. Seven times two H plus seven, parentheses. Doesn't tell me anything. It says H equals negative seven over two. So that's three and a half, right? I think I'm right, which never really happened. So um, I'll take this as a win, even though it's not. <laughs> e knows. I did go to Wolf. I'm on whatever. Yeah, you multiply by the number outside the room. I'm on whatever Wolf Alpha something, something, something. This is why I need to mirror my screen because. Scream, not scream. Screen. Because I did seven parentheses, two H plus seven. And then I got root h equals negative 7 over 2, which 7 over 2 equals 3 and a half, negative 3 and a half. That's what we got here. I think, now that I think I know what to do, I think I'm good. I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> I'm like, I think we're figured out with the test. I just used photo math. Uh, that was right. Wow. Okay. Let me do another Allison problem that, or Allison, Annabelle problem that Annabelle had on her page. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, no, you only put two problems. I was having a good time. Got any more problems? Okay. I'm like, <laughs> the root was one. Wait, what does that mean? Same, Allison. I have an F in math. Oh, no. Got to get that up, guys. Got to get that up. Math is cool. Math is actually the easiest subject if you spend time on it. Like, it's the one that you have to... Mm, I don't know. It's literally like you plug in whatever they teach you, and then you win. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it just... It's not subjective. It's literally quantitative. So, I don't know. <laughs> Math is present in every aspect of life. Nice. It sucks. For example, because I couldn't find any, if you Google that problem, then you can find more practice problems. It means solving five. Math is easy. There's always a right answer. You're either right or wrong. <laughs> that is true. But when you find out why you're wrong in one problem, I think then you can apply the same concept to another problem and kind of be like, yeah, I'm getting this. You know, like once you find out how to do it, I think that it's, it's not easy, but like it's very obvious when you're like, I'm getting better versus like English where it's like, you can spend all day reciting certain things, practicing grammar, but if it's just not in your, like, working knowledge, it's not there. I don't know how to explain it. Ugh, school, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> but the math isn't that bad. Is it bad? But also, I can't ask questions in math because my teacher, like, yells and stuff. Well, you should be like, no, maybe not. <laughs> like, Trying to figure out a, a way to get your teacher to be like, cool. Is it a multiple choice test or a show your work test? That's also a good point. That's a good point. Show your work. Okay, so you got to show your work. So is the whole test on the dis distributive property or whatever, where you do like, you do four parentheses blank X plus what at 53 and then you have to find Y or whatever it is. I don't know. 
Is that, like, the whole point of it? Sure, your work tests are the worst. Yeah, because, like, if you're not... No, but I... <laughs> I should probably not say that this is what worked for me because I don't think it's going to work in high school or middle school. But, like, in college when I took a calculus course and literally no one knew what this guy was talking about. No one... This guy was, like, 86 years old and he, like... I think he invented, like, a math formula that no one really understood. And then he was just, you know, going off. Every time we would go into, a, like, a lecture with him, he would just go on the chalkboard and just go off. No one had, to, like, no questions. We're not following a textbook. We're just watching him do some math problems with his 85-year-old self, which is great. Good for him. We're, we love his work. We love that he's into his passion still. Fine. Um, but then... And then I, I was doing fairly well, right? And then it's the final, and, like... And, and I'm not failing, okay? I, I made it a point that somehow in college I did better than high school. I don't know what it was, but I was just like, okay, now is my time to be, like smart and then I was and then I was that's crazy okay and so then every final that I took I was like or test I was like I'm going to do this I will get an A no matter I will do anything to get this A like and this was this was like freshman year I believe or sophomore year of college where like things were um I wasn't as hard, like, core, like, let's get all the good grades, whatever, at that point. And this teacher, this guy, man, he was crazy. He always, like, people would buy him cigars to bribe him. He, like, had a few cats that, like, passed away in his New York City apartment that he talked about. And he, like, he said he they were, like, missing for a few weeks. And then he would find them and they were, you know, gone. I mean, they were still there physically, but gone, emo mental, emotional, spiritually, whatever. Um, so it was a very interesting time, the class. But anyway, long story short, I had the final, which no, I, like I went to the math club. Like I can't do, like I can do simple math, but I, I, I'm no, I would not purposely go to a course in math because I like it. I think I just went because it was a requirement in business school where you had to like do calculus, calculus one, whatever. So anyway, long story short, he liked me because I was just like, ha ha, I'm silly. I'm quirky. I'm whatever. And then everyone else, like everyone was failing and I wasn't doing great. I think I had like a B plus B minus or something. But for me at the time, when I was trying to rebrand myself as, like, I'm going to try really hard, it was, like, my worst grade, I believe, at the time. Which, trust me, in high school, middle school, that could not be further from me. I was very degenerate. But then in college, I decided to, again, rebrand myself. But um, at this time, when, the, when this man who would be bribed with cigars who is 85 years old, shouldn't be teaching. I don't even know if he could see the chalkboard, let alone, I don't know who gave him the right to teach anyone anything. Fine, sure, whatever. But long story short, I'm not telling you you should write this on your test because I don't think it would work if you're young. I think maybe if you are... Um, in college and you have a professor that's like about to like retire because he should have retired 10 years ago maybe it would work somehow it worked for me but i literally wrote on my final i just kind of wrote what I, I just solved math whatever i thought i could solve it none of it was right i can promise you it was not right it was horrible and then at the very last page i just write dear Blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to, you know, dox him here. And then I said, Please be merciful. Love, comma, Kayla. Smiley face. And I submitted it like that. So the last thing that this man ever saw of me was, Please be merciful. Love, comma, Kayla. 
and it worked because I think I got an A. I th I'm not encouraging this. You should definitely not do this, especially if your math teacher doesn't like you, especially if, you know, maybe not middle school, maybe just wait till college to do it. But, oh my God, I was sh like, when I got that report card and I saw, I saw that he just like gave me an A, I immediately thought it was because I wrote that on the last page of that thing. It was definitely because I said, please be merciful. And he did. He did. And his name, I'm not going to dox him again. I, I wish he's not gone. I hope he's not dead. <laughs> that would be so tragic. Oh, man. Did I charm my way to a better calculus grade? I think I did. But it's really ironic because the one professor that I believe that I had like a charming um, quality on, he was the one that gave me the worst grade that I ever had in college, which is a little weird, right? Like he was commenting on my Facebook profile picture, but that was the, um, grade that I, whatever, it was like a B minus or something. But like, isn't that weird? Like, why did I, I don't know. I just think that's kind of crazy. Did you take part in the Swedish military operation Save Norway? History guard, are you really that good at history or are you Googling this? <laughs> That's crazy. Girl, I'm back. Have you learned how to pronounce my name? Michaela? What do you mean? My name is Kayla. Am I still not charming? <laughs> oh, man. I could probably find his... Um, comment i think i probably deleted it but or maybe not the comment but i probably deleted the post let's see let's i keep dropping things everywhere wherever i go i drop things okay here we go here's a lap oh here's a laptop okay i'm going to dox him in front of the 12 people that are here michaela michaela is that not good I need your persistence right now. I have finals. So June, I'm not ready at all. I need your perseverance. I'm curious what level of math you take. <laughs> I just become a math YouTuber. Like people just come to me for math problems. That's crazy. Even though I literally am probably getting the worst. Okay. I don't think that anyone should rely on me for math. I don't think I'm good at it. I think that I'm actually probably the worst um, tutor that you could have. I just find it interesting to try, and I'm so sorry if I made people think that I was, um, please don't. Have <laughs> only 12 viewers said. The doxing is crazy. I don't care. I'm so, okay, this guy shouldn't have commented on my stuff. That's weird of him. That's not my problem. 606. Sorry, I was typing in a two-factor one of those things like why was he commenting on my profile picture when i was like a sophomore in college like fine i'm like 19 but still weird right like a little weird also at least give me better than a b minus that was my worst grade all through high school like come on bro like you can't just expect hello i hate when i hear things me. I hear people. Kayla, you know how some professors are in college. We both know. Creeper vibes, you know what I'm talking about. You know how some professors are in college. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know. I know. I guess... I guess... I mean, now looking back on it, I definitely am like, oh my god. Like, that's crazy. But, like, for someone that in the moment just literally had no clue and was very like i mean i was gullible but like not mm, i don't know how to explain it like it was just like i never really saw it like that like i just was like glad to be in college that i didn't think like oh my philosophy professor who's gonna give me the worst grade that i ever had would comment on my facebook profile picture um hey are you still there bro <gasps> He's not there. <gasps> he is. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Found him. <laughs> I didn't want to sound like a liar. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I don't want to dox him. Hmm. Hmm. All right, I'll just read it, okay? This is what he said. He said, this is after he gave me the worst, which, okay, granted it wasn't that bad. I'm just being dramatic. But like, also don't comment on my profile photo when I'm literally your student. Like, that's kind of weird. I don't know, whatever. Um, he said, the dark green color contrasted with gold is an interesting aesthetic concept. I suppose it is distinctively Armenian. No, bro, it isn't. Like, he, he, you're looking too much into literally everything. Like, I would b bust out a pretzel as a snack and he would be like, I believe you are eating a snack of a pretzel because you need salt and you need sodium. And sodium is what uh, makes a woman feel the certain hormone in their brain and the chemicals. And the I'm like, no, it's not that intense, dude. Like, <laughs> it's just a dress that's green and gold. <laughs> I don't know. Dude vastly overestimates his coolness. <laughs> I haven't been to college yet. I definitely want to start one of these days. Honestly, Dylan... It really depends on what you want to do, but, like, unless you know, like, I want to do this, I wouldn't even do it. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. It's dumb. My mom even was like, why did you go to college? And I was like, oh, man, I don't know. I thought that was, like, what we did. I thought that was, like, a given, you know? It's kind of, it's, it, it really is kind of stupid when you look at things and you see like the people that are like smarter, um, harder workers and they don't have a college degree. And then you compare them with like the people that you went to college with and that you were like trashed with at night, like on a random Saturday back in 2019. And you're like, actually, oh man, 2016, 2015, whatever. I'm just like, what is going on? Teacher flirts with student. Search teacher's pet. Um, yeah, it was... But, like, dude. Like, at least... I mean, not to be like... Okay. <laughs> he could have given me an A. Like, that's not that hard. <laughs> if you want to talk about the dress of my profile picture, bro. Like, I could have literally told the authorities on you. I mean... Obviously, you didn't do anything super crazy, and I'm not trying to be dramatic because I'm not trying to ruin anyone's career. I'm not doxing them. I'm not pointing out what their name is, whatever. But, like, come on, dude. Like, just give me the grade. Like, if you're going to just comment that you think my golden green dress is distinctively Armenian, I was a freshman in your college court. Like, that's a little weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm just looking into it too much, but... Um, maybe I'm just mad because you didn't give me an A. And I was like, I thought that I was pretty enough for an A. Okay. You know what I mean? My GI Bill paid for more, most of mine. I want to go to USF and do the marine biology program as a pre-med. It's all paid for already by my... Oh my God, Iron Wolf and Dylan. I feel like Dylan is maybe a younger version of an Iron Wolf. Why did I say it like that? Dylan... Has a goal. Oh, a physical therapist? Is there a mar Oh, mar I don't know why I read marine biology as like you wanted to be a marine. <laughs> and I, I know Iron Wolf was a marine. <laughs> and I was like, oh, look literally nothing to do with each other but fine i'm sorry that's my bad <laughs> should i opt what should i opt what i'm confused bro why is a teacher commenting yes exactly i don't want to go to college because i don't want to literally live at school i know you don't live in the school but i don't want to live near it either um yeah i don't I, honestly I think that's like the least of the, of the, um, I mean, everyone has their right to like the decisions that they make and like why they would, 
go to college and why they wouldn't. But for me personally, like it didn't really have to do with whether or not I'm living near home or at home or wherever I was living. Um, Dylan was already a soldier. How? I, I, I can't even imagine, I think I would literally, I, I don't, you guys have mental toughness that I don't think I'll ever be able to ever have in a million years. This is insane. I don't know how, you're like 23, right? 23? Like, that's crazy. Like 23? I didn't even have like the right chemical balances in my brain to like, <laughs> I don't even know. What did you do, Dylan? I take it, Arnie, because you said soldier. What was your job there? Um, I can't believe that I'm like going to message my teacher and be like, what is that? I'm like, why am I so friends with him on Facebook? This is weird. <laughs> Anyway, um, I was 17. I, I don't even know what to say. That's did you feel prepared-ish? Like, do you think that you weren't someone that gets overly emotional for, like, no reason? I mean, I guess it's relative, right? It's like you can't really tell if someone gets emotional versus other people when they get emotional. You know what I mean? Like, I think that I would... Oh, man, I'm just always uncomfortable. Kayla having an existential crisis over me getting shipped off to Paris Island at 17. I am 22. I worked in Signal. Only thing Kayla will ever serve is soft serve. Zenu, you know what? No one asked you to come on here and talk anything poorly about me, okay? <laughs> I like I'm not even kidding. Like I don't I would do anything that I could to get out of serving and like that sounds so like lame and embarrassing, but and it really is. Like, it truly, really is. Like, I really have no faith in myself physically to, like, do the things that it entails to, like, serve. And, like, I just, I just, mm. I, I really just, you know. Hmm. I'm, like, trying to think. I'm, like. Unironically, I could say Kayla doing well in the Navy. Really? <laughs> In the Navy. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to <laughs> figure out how to do it. But um, interesting. Be nice to Kayla. She's my favorite person and I've never met her before. Allison, it's fine. Zinu and I, we are like best friends. And he's just, he teases me and he checks me in line. Because usually I say things that are like insane. And then he has to like bring me back down to earth. But like recently I've like learned to bring myself back down to earth and then I've brought him down to earth. So I think that we balance each other a little bit, but thank you for caring about me, Allison. We'd love that for you, us. Guess where your basic would be in the Navy, Kayla, Chicago, Great Lakes Training Center. But I don't think I could like, I, I don't even think I could run a mile fully like without walking. That's the problem. Like, I don't think I have it in me. And, like, a lot of it I get is, like, mental. I just don't think I have that, like, willpower that other people have. I don't know. I don't know what that is. But I remember, like, ever since I was in fifth grade, fourth grade, third grade, I never was able to. This sounds really bad. This sounds really bad. I used to, like, run with, like, the... Hmm. I don't know how to say this. I used to wait behind in the mile run for the people that obviously could not run a full mile. Physically, it, it for people on the outside, it looked as if they couldn't run a full mile under 10 minutes. 
Okay. This is like kinder, I mean, not kindergarten, fifth grade. Um, and I stayed back because I was trying to be a good friend. <laughs> I couldn't run. <laughs> That is horrible. I'm such a horrible person. I literally said, I'm staying back to run with my friend because they couldn't run because they were obviously not going to be able to run the full mile without stopping. And so I use that. I see at least I'm, um, at least I know how to manipulate people, <laughs> not my friend, the coaches. I don't know, whatever. You said cheat to make yourself look <laughs> you would get there they will not let you quit easily yeah i don't know i don't think i could do it i can't run like two steps without dying yeah see i can't, i couldn't do that and that's why that's why i would run with my besties and i mean okay let's be clear let's be clear i didn't befriend them like the day before the mile at gym and then i wasn't like bye have fun like, they were my friends year-round, okay? I'm not, like, that much of a horrible person. But, yeah, like, the day of the mile, I would be like, I'm going to walk with her. Because that's what good friends do. Meanwhile, if I ran, I would... <laughs> there was no... I had no chance. <laughs> anyway, but I played it off, like... Oh, I'm just, that's so sad. Okay, that's not my fault. I didn't know how to run. Why didn't I know how to run? Why, why didn't I know how to run? Imagine Kayla ending up at a Marine Corps recruit depot, Paris Island. I don't think I could. I think I would be like, remember that Disney Channel movie, Cadet Kelly? <laughs> when she was like climbing through mud. I think the only things that I could get through is like the gore and like the throw up and like the, um uncomfortable aspects of like seeing horrible things going through like the the mental horrible whatever um throwing up like eating crappy food like that's fine for me it's just the physical aspect that I just have never been able to just like bite the thing and get over it. I just I just I don't know what it is it's just for me like when people say, oh, you run five miles and you get through the, you get to the runner's high. I'm like, I've, n I, I can't even, that does not exist. I like the, the thought of a runner's high is so absurd to me. There is no way that people actually feel this is amazing. I love this. Like the thought of me running a marathon literally makes my whole body compulse and like fly across the room as if I'm possessed like Reagan in the second exorcist movie like I am not doing that I could never if I ran a marathon I would like I did in cross country when my mom was like you're not gonna not do a sport this season Kayla and then I was like okay I'll do cross country and then like all of my skinny Mm, see, I feel bad saying this, but like the skinny nerdy guys that I was like hanging out with, whatever, you know, they would run and then I would just like hang out in the school and they would cover for me and they would make some excuse for me. And then I would, I would run out the other side and then I would be like, yep, just ran three laps. And I literally did nothing. I literally was just camping out in the school. Running is only fun when you're doing it as a team. That is not fun. I find that actually worse. I find that worse for me. Running with other people makes me feel I like would compare myself to other people and I'd be like, see, there's a reason why they can do it and I can't. I would just get in my head about it, which I think that's a me problem. <laughs> I don't think that's a everyone problem, but I think that's just, you know, good old running in formation with rifles and boots. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I could do that. I don't know. How, like, how far do you have to run? Is it far? Because, okay, it's not like carrying something. It's not seeing things. It's not being yelled at. It's not whatever. It's just the, like, physical aspect of it for me that I'm just, like, I cannot do it. Like, I, I just, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know. 
I don't know how that happened, you know? Because I was never, like, out of shape as a child. I was always just, like, a relatively normal-sized <laughs> kid. But, like, I just never could do what other people could do. I don't know. It's weird. On a normal PT day, it's usually around a three-mile run every other day with the alternate days being either swim training or martial arts. They took the mile away. They don't make you run it at all. Hey, that's good that they don't make you run it at all. I got to go for five seconds. Sorry, that's fine, Allison. Okay, so, like, if you practice three miles and you, like, I mean, because I, I do believe that you can build it up and you can, like, like, because I remember a time where I could literally, like, not even run a lap around a football field and then I was able to, like, you know, run four laps around like a mile with the cross country team and do whatever. So I'm I'm sure that it just takes like consistency and building it up. But like, oh man. I wish I was just one of those people that could just do it. Like there are people that could just run and run and run and run. And they just, I don't know what it is. Is it their just, like, natural mental toughness? Is it really their physical, like, I don't know. Are they that fit that that's, like, I don't believe that. Like, they're that, like, people are that fit even if they don't work out that they could just run three miles? I don't know. It just seems crazy to me. No, it's not your fault. Arnold, the pack marches are way worse than a run. 40 miles. Oh, my God. The farthest I've ran in the Army is the Army 10-miler. I've heard people running 15 miles, though. It depends on your icky out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I think that I... See, this is why I would never sign up for it. I don't think I ever could. Maybe I'll train just in case I have to eventually, but I don't think that I could. Um, I don't know why I, Iron Wolf, I don't know why you think that I would be able to survive the Navy, because I definitely can't. I really am, like, I would be at the last person. I would be, like, the person that, like, the, whatever the person is, the, the, the commander, the captain, I don't know what they're called. Like, they would spit on me. Like, I would be the last person to show up, and they would, like, be like... <laughs> And they would spit in my face, and I'd be like, you know what? I deserve that. <laughs> like, I would be like, understood. <laughs> like, like, I would be like, I, I honestly have no excuse here. They don't do pack marches in the Navy. This is all Marines and Army stuff. Me and Dylan are talking about it. It's night and day. The Navy and Air Force are a lot different. Really? I thought the Air Force was like, hmm. I don't know why I thought the Air Force was, like, intense. So... Why would why would people go into the Marines and the Army versus the Navy and the Air Force? You get paid more? Or, like, why would you... The Air Force is basically summer camp. <laughs> but, like, then why wouldn't, why wouldn't you go to the Air Force? Like, why would you subject yourself to being in a worse environment? You know what I mean? Like, Dylan will back me on that. LOL. Yeah, Navy and Air Force are mainly paperwork jobs. Ah, that's crazy. Kayla, how's your Easter day been going? It's been great. Honestly, nothing crazy. I feel like this is the usual. Um, I don't know. Actually, this has probably been a better Easter than I've had in my time. In my time. Like, it's been good, you know. Not been amazing. Not been sad, not been angry. Everyone was just having a good time as much as we can. I'm a nugget. Nice. Um, but that's crazy. Oh my god, I can't even imagine. Like, for various reasons, a lot of the jobs you might want to do are only in certain services. For me, it was, I'll be honest, some pride in wanting to be in the toughest service. Oh wow, that's intense. See, I, I don't think <sighs> hmm. I think it would just take a lot for me to even join that I would just probably do the, like, the one that was the easiest. But, yeah, I guess people are different. It is that I actually volunteered with a PT. Air Force boot camp is the easiest thing I've ever seen. Beast week looks fun, though. That's about it. Hmm. Interesting. See, I don't... Hmm. I wonder... I mean... 
I don't want to put you guys on the spot because I feel like like it's a time where maybe people don't want to talk about it. But like, I wonder what the like woman to man, um, like, are you expected the same? Like, are the woman expected the same? That sounds bad because it's like if you say no, you're expected less. It's like, well, why don't you? Why why aren't there the same things? But at the same time, it's like, I'm assuming how much what percent of the military like it must be such a small percent of women and men right it must be like 20 percent i don't know I, I haven't even looked at it um i would just walk in the recruiter's office and sign three days later no not at all we were doing a combined arms exercise once with some air force unit and we were joined in their pt and when it was done our platoon sur- sergeant literally said that was the warm-up right ah no not the warm-up my uncle's in the Air Force. Nice, Mackenzie. I um, watch you live on my mom's laptop. Nice. It is actually volunteered. Uh, oh, yeah, I saw that. That's crazy. Oh, my God. Here, let me just look at this. I'm going to get my... Okay, one second trying to do my own research i'm about to sign up to be in the army just kidding that would be crazy i can't even do a, a pull up it's like actually really sad um workout centers are based off of age and gender oh interesting oh my god four days later <sighs> what um Hmm. Okay, one in every six active service active duty service members is a woman. One in every six? That's got pretty low, right? One in every six. So that means there's like 18 and there's only three. I guess it's not that bad. I I just assumed that it was like, hmm, interesting. Oh, it depends on where you, okay. We're boring Xenu. He's like, you earthing folks are nothing compared to my space military. I'm going to bed. My grandpa was Air Force and then Secret Service, and now I don't know the secret. <laughs> That's funny. Nice. Um, all I see is the Army, 18.8% women, men, 81.2%, Navy, 20.9% women, 79.1% men, Marine Corps, 9.8% women, 90.2% men. Oh, man. Air Force, 23.4% women. Oh, that's actually the most. The Air Force, 76.6% men. Interesting. Hmm. But then, like, do people, like, cut you slack if you're, like, because I feel like that's obviously sexist to cut a woman slack. But, like, physically, biologically, I think women can't run as fast and obviously... There are women that can do way more than, like, a lot of men can and whatever. But, like, mm, just interesting because I think that if you take an average speed of a woman running a mile and a man, I think the man can the men can run faster on average. Or, like, lifting, like, certain weights. Like, do they... Hmm. How does that work being, like, fair? I- I'm assuming that the people in charge would like kind of put it on you know they would determine on themselves i don't know female recruits and service members have lower pt requirements yes okay interesting thank you allison we love you it depends on the service a lot higher in the navy air force i know in the marines it was less than 10 percent women whoa depends on your job field (laughs) this crazy um the supreme leader grand poobah of the intergalactic space force 
Xenu. I was trying to write something, but I'm going to say, Xenu, do you think you can take over the channel if I just decide to, like, you know, serve our country? I mean, my country, not your country, because you don't have a country. You just have the f space. <laughs> Every year you get fitness rated. There are little score, literally scores on the different parts of your physical tests, and there's a chart for men and one for women, so they take it into account. That's crazy. So it's not like the movies where you're running like a mile and then like you're in mud and you're like climbing through things and then they like the guy or the captain, whatever. That I'm assuming it's worse than the mo it's worse than the movies. OK, I'm fine. This is great. This is great. I'm th th that's fine. This I think that I'm fine where I am. I don't think that I'll ever um hmm. Maybe after I train a little bit then I will um you know. I will unsub. I think Zach should if he posts more often. You did. Kayla are we cool? Wait, why aren't we cool? Those are obstacle courses. Look up the marine one sometimes if you want to get real scared oh man no that's some mental toughness that i don't think that i can i mean you know what maybe that's my new era maybe that's how i like you know maybe that's what i need in life honestly honestly um hmm sorry i'm trying to read everything but Man, I think I just got to start, like, working out hardcore recent recently. I just go home, and I'm, like, lifting weights, doing all the crazy things. That's crazy, though. See, I've never been that, like, I've never been physically, like, hmm. No, I have been always. I'm very, yep, I was, I actually served five years in the Air Force. Um... But anyway, <laughs> Dylan said, when I was in boot camp, we marched into a swamp to test our loyalty. That was the worst day of my life. It was the negatives and windy behind Oklahoma. What? These boys in my class were telling me I'm weak. So I said, let's do a couple of challenges to see who's weak. And I was stronger than all of them. Let's go, Mackenzie. See, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Good for you, girl. Like, honestly, when people are that cocky and that dismissive of other people's talents, that just shows that they're insecure because, like, you did and proved to them they're weak and not as good as they think they are at all. <laughs> are we cool? Like, I'm. am I good with you? Allison, we are better than ever. I I never thought we weren't good. I'm sorry if I, if I made it seem like that. I'm just, I'm just thinking about all of the... <laughs> I'm just thinking of me fighting in the military and I just can't even unsee it. Like, I'm just that much like... Because, like, whenever... This sounds so bad. This is so embarrassing. But every time I watch, like, a superhero movie, like, in theaters especially, like, if I go to the movie theaters and I see something, like, anything to do with, like, action, I immediately am like, I need to train. Like, this is my new calling. And I think that I'm gonna, like, save the world. And I, like can't even lift up a branch so anyway but i can so don't come for me the seven people that are here don't come for me i think my worst in boot was we got back from the three day bwt which was already bad enough and then the craziest instructor decided to take us island hopping what this is crazy this is crazy i i no, Annabelle, you're good. Were oh my god, am I muted? 
No, why'd you say muted? Kayla? Hello, hello? No, still? Still? That's so weird. Back now? Okay, that's weird. I don't know how long that was for, but um, I don't even remember what I was saying. Something about me making my comeback and being super strong and recording it on video and documenting it. I don't remember what it was, though, specifically. But anyway, I appreciate everyone. I hope everyone had a great, lovely Easter. Um, I didn't really have anything. In, I mean, do I ever have anything planned for lives? No, not really. Kayla's going to surprise us all and be G.I. Jane. I know. I really am trying, you know. I, I, I say after one day, I really am trying. I really have been trying. I just, like... For a long time, I think since it was obvious that people have different levels of fitness, I guess. So, like, I don't know, middle school, I guess, maybe. Since that time, I've always felt that I was, like, at the very, very bottom of everything. Which, you know, there was a reason of that feeling. I was. Um, and then maybe last year or two years ago, I did boxing and actually the people that I boxed with, they were all like in the military. I don't remember what, I don't know what they did. Honestly, I still haven't asked. I don't know why I didn't, but, um, they were really hardcore and they wouldn't like for the whole hour, they would just like make you kind of do what they said and like push you to your limits, which I appreciated because I needed that. Like I, I would have never gotten like the mental or whatever, like, the physical, um, experience that I got, but at the same time, it's, like, when I stopped, I just completely, like, psh, gone, so, I, yeah, I do want to become G.I. Jane again, even though I never was her, even though I never was her, <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm gonna say good night, because I gotta go to bed and start my week off strong, because maybe tomorrow I'm gonna start lifting weights, Maybe tomorrow I'm like lifting like the stuffed animals like in my Easter basket and, you know, doing all the things. But I appreciate you all. I appreciate you for coming. I hope I could help in math, even though I don't think I can really much. But um, I'll try to uh, <laughs> I'll try to, you know, spark up on my math, catch up on things. Um, especially working out. That's something that I want to, I mean, it's not really the new year, but that's definitely something that I want to do. Two years from now, we'll be watching Kayla make her woman's MMA de yep, debut. Yep, exactly. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Honestly, like, that would be a big, like, if I could run a marathon one day, like, if I could clip this in, like, 10 years even, if I could run a marathon, that would be, like, everything. I've hated running so much. Like, my biggest, like, I'd rather try to lift a car like, or drag a car from, like, point A to point B than run, like, five miles, you know? Like, I'd rather really try to push something or pull, like, I just can't with the running. I just can't. I just hate running. I don't know what it is. Um, but anyway, have a good night. Happy Easter for those who celebrate. Even if I don't, I still appreciate, you know, having little bunny cartoon things and decorations and whatever. Um, and I'll see you probably tomorrow, I think. So good night, everybody. Uh, let me read this last comment from Iron Wolf because we love Iron Wolf. I'll let you in on a secret. Even big, bad USMC veteran me hated running. Still do. I prefer climbing, swimming, martial arts, etc. Exercise. Yeah, I don't know. I just can't. Like, I rap. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, I literally rather, like, if someone said you can, I mean, this doesn't really say anything. Because it's, like, not any, like, physical um, strenuous activity. But if someone said, like, bleach your eyebrows, wax them all off, or run five miles, I'd rather wax my eyebrows off and bleach them. Like, like literally anything. Like, I'd rather eat, like, five gallons of pudding, vomit it all up. You know, I could go through that mental toughness. Running, I don't know. I don't know her. I can't do it. 
I don't know what it is. It's something about it that I hate. But anyway, um, love you guys. See you guys probably tomorrow if you can come on tomorrow or the next day. Anyway, happy Easter to all and to all a good night. <laughs> what is this poem? Okay, bye.